Okay, so here we have my Michael Jackson CD collection with the alternate variant covers minus the greatest hits CDs because I'm not a greatest hits fan. First and foremost, I'm not a greatest hits fan. Um, it's filler. To me, it's filler. It's not canon to his releases. And yeah, I know you had the Scream, the Scream album, which came out last year for Halloween. I got the vinyl version because the vinyl version is different. It glows in the dark. It does. And that's what I like about it. And the vinyl version sounds so much better. The audio CD version, it's just a picture of the moon. And all it really is, honestly, real talk. Scream was no more than a money grab. Because it was a Halloween playlist. The vinyl version, yeah, yeah, it's a Halloween playlist. But the vinyl is the vinyl version. For many different... For many different... Reasons. What was that? Okay, that was my other phone. Okay. And not much going on there. Whatever. So, you know, like I said, the vinyl is different from the audio CD. So, just ignore it. So, I, just, I didn't bother to really get Scream. Not important to me. I can't care. And there are some in here that I may do not have compared to variants. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. So the first, what we're going to grab, we're going to grab Escape. The last actual album release. And this is the gold version. This is the gold version. Now the one other version that they have to this is the silver version. Which is in a case like this. And the songs for it, as you see, would be the original version like this one has so the ver versions at the top were the full mix remix edited versions and they also included which is on the same disc the original versions the original versions as well along with the uh, DVD um do I know what the sil silver version is a two to set I'm gonna go out on a limb and say yes I don't know quite for certainly. I know that the booklets are the same. But this is this is a core board. This isn't a CD standard case, if you will. So it's a gatefold, kind of. And then, like I said, it's a two-disc set. The booklets are the same. It just has really the lyrics in it. That's about it. Um... Nothing with pictures, which I do think they could done pictures. I, I really think they do. I really think they could. So this is the uh, disc for the songs on it. Right there. Which has the edited, remixed, full mastered versions of the song. And of course, this one right here is the DVD, which... It's really not much to talk about with that one. It is what it is, yeah. But I'm glad I do have Escape. I do. So we're going to put that off right there to the side. Boom. Kind of go like this. That would be better. Now we got Michael. And I got two of these. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the bolt of them. Let's see. One of them's new, one of them's old. I think this is the newer one. Yeah, this is the newer one. This is the old version. Because I because somebody stole that one from me, but I'll get to that here in a minute. This is known as breaking news. They have a vinyl of this actually, but it's really difficult to find. It's more um popular across seas and than in the US. Um the only thing that really sets this off from the first one I bought is that it had, I'll show you what a picture it had. It had this picture right here of the two little angels with the crown. And it was on top of the disc, which this one had. Like I said, someone stole that from me. So there's obviously two 
different variant disc out there. There's two different variant disc out there. So there's that. Not much to say about that. Next is this is it. Um it, it, it depends on how you look on this, is it? Honestly, is this it considered a greatest hits or a tour album? You know, that's the question. But because it has the new song on there, you know, This Is It it wasn't fully done. Then they had the remix version of that with the brothers on it. I guess it would be considered a new album, but it's really a tour album. And not much artists really released albums for their tours, except for like the live concert versions. And those ain't really considered, you know, popular unless you're a hardcore fan like that. Um, another version of this is the same thing. It would be black, but it would be in a case like those, or it would be this color, but it would be a case like that. Um, this is a two-disc set. It is. Um, for one, you had the songs that would be performed. On a, this is it. With this. may not be all of them, but the main ones that we've seen from the movie, this is it. Then you would have the, uh, the demos. Um, I don't know if they're the studio demos. I couldn't tell you. Personally, myself, I don't think it is. I think they're just the rehearsal demos. Because they sound more live than anything. What this is it. I, I really, honestly, I, I believe so. And I say that. For many, <clears throat> excuse me, for many different reasons, which we will get to later on down the line. And I love this album. You know, I've played the hell out of this, honestly. It's, um, uh, it doesn't play no more. It, it, it's a ward out. Audio CDs, don't get it twisted. They do get worn out. They, um, they really do. They get worn out. You know? They, honestly, they get worn out. And I really wouldn't care much getting into the version of this. It's, uh, it is what it is. There's the demo ones. And I will get to that once we go here up on the back. Uh, disc two, as you can see. She's out of my life demo. Want to be starting something demo. Um, beat it. Demo, followed up by planet earth poem so there's that but we will come back to those demos later on next is history volume two okay so i don't have the actual history album because i don't care for it it felt more like a greatest hits cd which it practically was now i know disc two was the history songs now me as a musician as an artist you have to know your history in in music especially from different artists who you may listen to know your research and this is this is my research in the history that i know the blue variant cover version at the time right after so you had history which was the double disc you had blood on the dance floor history in the mix and then you had this that dropped in betweenish in the earlier days of the uh, history tour release. Now, overseas compared to the U.S. U.S. version, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. We got the DVD. We got the DVD. Then you know that that's what we got. The Overcross Seas version got Volume 2, which is the second disc with the actual songs for the History album. And I made my own for the History album that came in this kind of a casing. During the beginning of the tour, and I somewhere, when did History come out? 95? This came out around 95 ish. History tour was 96 to 97. In between the timeline, Volume 2 came out. Volume 2 did come 
over across seas. It did. However, not too many people knew about it because it just wasn't popular. It just wasn't hitting. The main one that's more famous that con that did get over here. Yes, they have the DVD version like this. This cover, volume two, that says audio. I'm not audio. That says DVD and this kind of casing. Now there was a time, and I remember when I was younger around that time. It was in Walmart. I saw this. It said audio CD. Um, the singles from it, some of the hits, and this kind of casing. Um, but you know, I just didn't have the money then. You know, long time ago. It really was, and this is, as I'm telling you guys the story, I'm going to show you guys, yeah, this is my version of it. It may not be much, but I like what I made. And now, over, like I said, Overcross is more popular. Um, granted, you're, you're paying, if, if you want it to the U.S., ah, man, it's like a bidding war, unless you find one for sale. And eventually, they do have, like I said, the DVD version like this, and this kind of casing with the blue variant cover. That the more I think, the more I look at it offline, because there's a good amount of them, anyways, out there that no one was really paying attention to, or no one really cares about. And the more I look at it, it's like I may just end up getting it, or I may not. But I think I will. It won't be anytime soon. Yeah, that's the history upon history album so this is the volume two one that did come out during the tour so there's that as you know there was the remix album now i got two of them one it didn't get stolen it did not i want to say i think blood on the dance floor is my first michael jackson cd i bought i believe so it's either my first or second I'm not too sure, but I played the hell out of it, and it don't work anymore. And so I had to get another one, and I, I love this album. To me, it's underestimated. I don't, it doesn't get the attention it still does. Actually, I take that back. I, it does get the attention. It's one of the popular ones. matter of fact, it's the world's best-selling remix album in the world. And there ain't very many remix albums out there. So... You know, there's that. But to me, I still think it's underestimated. Next, we got Dangerous 25, a uh, fan made. This is the actual, and I'm going to get into it. Dangerous 25, we were supposed to get, I think, last year, maybe. Or think it, or, or was it in 016? I can't remember. It was either 017 or 016. And the estate, I mean, honestly, you know, Michael Jackson's estate, they're not doing anything. I'm, I'm sorry, but the, the estate is just bullshit. Because the last anniversary CD that they put out was 30 year anniversary of uh, Off the Wall, which I just didn't care about. I just couldn't, I couldn't. But this was the actual linked image of Dangerous 25. Now, it's a two-disc set. There's no telling how Dangerous 25 would have came out, how would it, how it would have been. Um, until, you know, Spike Lee, he was supposed to do the documentary of Dangerous 25. I don't want to see a Dangerous documentary. No. <sighs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm going to go there. I, I like the bad documentary. That I enjoyed. Did I want to see a Dangerous documentary? No. Dangerous is my favorite album by Michael. Dangerous is my favorite album by Michael, yes. A documentary, I just wouldn't want to see it. Um, I, I tell you, when I mean see it, I, I mean own it. But it depends on the packaging. So this is a two-disc set. And if I was... With the MJ estate, if I was, and this is how I would do the packaging, honestly. Okay, this is how I do the packaging. I'm gonna let you guys look at this. The first disc would be your album cut songs from the album that came out in 91. 
Second disc, yes, would be the unreleased tracks from Dangerous. Now, that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it with that one. Or, let's say if, if you wanted to do another type of packaging. Which I think would be the hot seller, by far. But it would be the most expensive. It, it would. It would be a three disc set. And by three disc set, it would be this. It would be the first out, first CD would be the songs from the album. Second CD, the unreleased tracks. The third CD would be the Dangerous Documentary. And I do believe as a fan, if that would be the case, I would get both versions. I really would. I would get the one with just the music on it. And then I would get all three of them. Yes. Yes, I would. Because that would be like the only way. Now, what would be the most easiest to get? It would be the ones with the two CDs with just the songs. Rather than the third disc set. But, you know, that that's it up on, on Dangerous 25. Next we got Dangerous Special Ed Edition. Compared to the original early US release. So, let's go ahead and look at them. So... Here's this edit edition, front cover, right there. A little bit different than the uh, early U.S. release, which is right here. Okay, so let's uh, look at the back. Here's the back of the edit edition. Here's the back of the early U.S. release. Like I said, Dangerous is my favorite album by him. Favorite album by him. Favorite. Let's flip it back over, open it up, boom. Now, open up this one, boom. Now, which one is now more common in this day and age to get easier to get your hands on? This is edit edition. Yes, yes it is. As you can see, the booklets are different. This one has pictures in it, and this one does not. This one just has lyrics. This one has pictures. Even the pictures are different. Same picture, but different color, as you can see. So there is a difference. Either way, it's still a great, great album. That's, you know, that's dangerous for you in a nutshell. Next is the Bad 25. I got this version cheaper, easier, more common. I even bought the DVD separate. Now the box set would have been nice to own. The box set does offer more. It does offer more, yes. Uh, the vinyl 25 version is expensive. More than I would like to spend. I'm in no rush to get that. Dangerous, or not dangerous, Bad. Bad is my favorite air by Michael. Um, the Bad Tour is my favorite tour of all. So there's that part, right? So let's take this out. So we're look, we're going into a deeper look with these. Um, kind of just do that. Maybe one day I'll own the Dangerous Twenty Five box set. Not anytime soon. This part is actually a sticker inside, which I thought was cool. It is cool. It still is. Best thing about this Dangerous Twenty Five. It does come with the picture, picture booklet, which I enjoy, which I do enjoy, and I do have the Dangerous Tour CD, or Dangerous DVD, by the way, as the tour. But here's all this. Right here. Which is cool. I really enjoy that. I recommend getting your hands on this. I really do. You're not going to be disappointed. And I think what the state did right with this one. As you know, the, the, this is the album cut songs. The second disc. The second disc is the unreleased tracks or extended editions 
different versions of these songs. Right? So, let's see what you got on disc. So, this is, on this side, this is disc two. Disc two, Don't Be Messing Around. I'm um, So Blue, Song Groove. Free, Price of Fame is my favorite. Al Capone is the Spanish version of Smooth Criminal. Streetwalker, Fly Away. Too Many arms and ears too um i just can't stop loving you french version uh i can't stop loving you which would be the spanish version bad remix um speed demon remix and bad remix so yeah i'm, I'm glad that they done that for for dangerous 25 and or Bad 25. I don't know why I keep saying Dangerous 25. Bad 25. For the 25 anniversary of Bad. Was done right. Not, not only did it come. It came with the three disc set. Let's, let's you know, think about that for a second. You had songs from the album that came out. Second disc. Um, unreleased tracks. Remix tracks. And the DVD. That was done right, in my opinion. Y yes, y yes, it was. Here we have the special edition. Um, the only thing different, you have this, which is black. Then you just have that picture right there. And th I got this at Goodwill used, so it's not all here. Disc is red, which is great. This booklet, practically the same like that one. Because that's where they pulled it from. That's alright. Because at least that one's a bit complete rather than this. But in a way, this one this one is a little bit complete. Not, I don't want to make it sound like it ain't, but you know. So, not too much to say about that. Um, just, just besides, I got... I mean, they added I Can't Stop Loving You. Spanish version. Skywalker. and Or no, Streetwalker. And fly away but I'm glad I got that then you have the one that came out in the 80s um, for the younger viewers audio CD and some of my older peers those that know yeah audio CD was being experimented on honestly in the 80s but you had to be wealthy and rich to own a CD player to get CDs because normal folk we we were still doing cassette tapes and VHS players. Yes, across seas they were experimenting with the movies on laserdisc. This right here, only thing different. It's is different. This is it's the early release. This is old. I had this for years, by the way. Um, this is lyrical with lyric booklets, no pictures, laser disc, and it's about really it. There's not not much to it. But it's the original bad. This is right here. I call this Thriller 2. I made this myself. Reason for it is because, believe it or not, go online, type in Thriller unreleased songs. They're real. They're legit. Any Michael Jackson fan or any music collector who listens to different music will tell you, yes, there's going to be unreleased tracks. For any album. And Thriller is no exception. It's different. And I will get to that. Because, let me tell you, Billy Jean is not even Billy Jean in the original song. Thriller is not even called Thriller. The lyrics are so, so different. It's called Starlight. Just to name a few. I'm serious. Look that up. So here we have Dangerous 25 Thriller Jacket variant cover version. Boy, this is a. Uh, I like this one. This one I've been wanting for a while. And there are differences between this and this. So, here's the front cover with the red jacket. In the back cover, you have the werewolf. The songs, the song listings are on this side. This is what they got right here. So, they got the original songs, remix songs. In 2008 followed up by the DVD 
so it's actually a two disc set by the way um, both CDs from both versions are gold with uh, red writing on them like such or yeah so here's that and that picture is different too so yeah then you have the DVD right there um thriller thriller what, what can I say about thriller um believe it or not thriller 25 was really my first Michael Jackson audio CD I do believe just like thriller was my first Michael Jackson cassette tape I ever truly truly owned that I have so there's that version and here's this version right here the booklets are the same the disc are the same uh, the picture inside the case is him holding the tiger not much difference here's that song writings on this side there's this picture now if I were the estate, or even if they wanted to, because uh, I think it was the 30th anniversary that passed a couple months ago with Thriller, I would have done this is what I would have done a 30th anniversary collection. And what I would have done, real talk, real talk, this is what I would have done. I would have, there's other pictures out there that were taken for Thriller. Um, because the original cover, yeah, for Thriller, was really supposed to be this. So I, I would have went back to this. I would have been 30. It would have had the 30th year anniversary. It would have had the same writing on it. The world's biggest selling album of all time. What I would have done, what I would have done, it would have been a three disc set. It would have been a three disc set it'd be a little bit more pricier but it'll be worth the money it would have the album cut songs followed up with the second disc the unreleased tracks and the victory tour which would have been the thriller tour that's how it would have been and i think people would have liked that i would have liked that i would have gotten it and i would have spent the money Yes, 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 it would be expensive. I'm not going to lie. It would, but it would have been worth the money. And I think that's what they I think that's what should have been done. I really do. Coming up next is the original Thriller audio CD release. And this is way different. To remind you Thriller came out in 83 and yet again they're still experimenting with audio CD. Then, even though, like I said, you had to be wealthy or rich to get a CD player, a lot of us were still doing cassettes. Now, what's the difference? Honestly, there is a difference. Yes, yes there is. Cover-wise, the um, re-releases with the 25 does not have that right there like the original does. Um, it's more black. Here's the original um, design track listings right there. It's a lyric book, so there's no pictures, honestly. And here is the laser disc. And I'm glad I got this, too. So, there you have it in terms of, like, how Thriller would be. The original release, 25 release, another 25, followed up by the fan made. The same thing with Bad and Dangerous and History. Coming up next is the special edit edition of um, Off the Wall. Um, these pictures for Off the Wall, and it's, it's really more of a lyric book. You had the legs, which was more popular with the cassette cover. Um, let's kind of take that off for a second. Which is right there. There's the CD right there. And you have this. There's a difference between this one. And the original release. Uh, they did release Off the Wall like this for the original release and audio CD. Along with Thriller, I believe. Maybe after Thriller. I could be wrong. 
it was it was one of the it was one of those. Either that or it was exper it, it was released on audio CD because there's your audio CD version right there with the laser disc print. It was released on audio CD in the 80s, early 80s when they were experimenting by the way. And as you can see there's the difference right there. But we're going to focus on the face. This pictures were took during the Destiny tour, by the way. Just look at the difference at the face and the suit. This is more sparkly. He didn't experiment with the sparkles suits. Like, well, he did. I take that back. He did, because you had the one with, um... Uh, what's the name of that song? Rock With You, I believe. But if you take a look, this was during the Destiny tour. Because his nose, face is different compared to this right there. Big difference. Big difference. Um, like I said, even with the audio CD. Yes, this is the original color compared to what you have here, which is more touched up, more edit-like. Which they did for the cassette version as well. But then you see to how the CDs are. So, yeah. Um, the back of the CDs as well. And I got three of these, but one of them came in good condition. It just didn't come with no case. And the songs don't play. So, yeah. So, there they are with the back covers and everything. So, that's off the wall. That's Michael Jackson's off the wall. Uh, like I said, they did come out with the 30th anniversary for off the wall. However, and I don't know. I just, honestly, all it is, the casing, the casing is this in part, um, which shows him legs and all, blah, blah, blah. And... They, honestly, it's a cash grab because, let's keep it real, I am a Michael fan, but it's the estate. It's the estate. They released it. They, they did. They wanted to show off what they could do with cases, pictures, and like one performance live, which was Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, along with the... Uh, what is it? The, the documentary from Motown to Off the Wall, which was short as hell. And it was all about the casing. What you could do with the casing, different styles, for a cash grab. Keep it real. So that's why I never got it, and I would never spend money to get it. So there you have it. A deeper look, comparison look, at my Michael Jackson CD collect slash alternate variant covers and I'm out